Hello and welcome to Thought for January the 11th. Our readings are Genesis chapters 20 and 21, Psalms 23, 24 and 25, Matthew chapter 13. And our thought is, none who wait for you. We were rather overwhelmed by the multitude of thoughts that arose from today's readings. Psalm 25 is less known than the very familiar Psalm 23, but it contains many inspiring words. None who wait for you shall be put to shame, we read in verse 3. And the word wait is very significant. More and more we feel we are waiting for God to act, although there are different senses to that word wait. With seemingly more climate situations of a fearful nature, is God starting to bring greater judgments because of the increasing godlessness of the nations? In verse 5 we read, Lead me in your truth, and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. What is God's truth? Well, it is the opposite of godless human thinking. May God and his Son lead us in true ways, of thinking and doing, and surely he causes the Bible to be written and preserved for that purpose. Next week we will read in Psalm 37, Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land, or earth. You will look on when the wicked are cut off, verse 34. We must not become impatient in our waiting. Paul wrote, May the Lord direct your hearts into realising and showing the love of God and into the steadfastness and patience of Christ in waiting for his return. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5. Returning to Psalm 25, we read, The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him. My eyes are ever toward the Lord. O guard my soul and deliver me. Verses 14, 15 and 20. Let's appreciate the intensity of David's attitude towards God. What a relationship he developed with God. No wonder he is called by Samuel a man after God's own heart. In 1 Samuel 13 verse 14. Can we try to be a person at least a little like that as we wait for God to act? Finally, underline verse 21 of this psalm. May integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I wait for you. It is not that David was perfect, as we know. And we noted that in verse 11 of this psalm, he wrote, For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Can we make this prayer of David our prayer? Then God will make us one of his children, as he did David. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's word, knowing that word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.